Hey everyone, me, the Horror Universe here. So today I'm testing out one of my older webcams to see if it's actually better than the one I've been using since October. Now, there's one gripe I had with my other webcam, and that was that it always auto-focused and I didn't like that. It made my video feel very hard to watch at times, but this one to me feels more natural. Yes, while the quality is not 100%, guys, it's a webcam, it's not going to be. I feel like it's better in terms of the wide lens and that it doesn't have an auto-correct colour correction added on to it. I don't know, I kind of feel like this one's better. But today, we are actually going to critique Halloween Kills. And that sounds very weird because I've been very positive with this movie since its release in cinemas. However, there's been one thing that bugged me since its theatrical release, and I'm surprised I didn't really speak about this sooner. And I'm glad I'm t talking about it now that I've had time to think about it. And that is the firefighter scene. Not the firefighter scene in particular. That is boss. That is amazing. I love that sequence. More to do with the score. One gripe I have with this movie is that sometimes the score is sort of pushed back when in reality a score is supposed to give you that feel, that emotion of what's going on in a scene. And when you push it back, it feels lifeless. That is what From the Fire felt like to me. When I was watching it in cinema, I thought the audio was broken. I generally thought that the music audio in the room was broken because I could hardly hear the music at all. But then when I rewatched it on digital, I figured out that it wasn't that. That wasn't the case. It's the actual movie itself. Whose decision was it to make the music so far back that you can hardly hear it. Okay, here's what the original one sounded like. Here's what my edit sounds like that I made yesterday. Do you see the difference? It's so painfully obvious. And it frustrates me. They need to remaster this movie. They need to get the audio files. They need to get the... Uh, uh, the vocals. Yes, I know this is easier said than done. But at least make the music more... Audible. So you can hear it. I don't know if there's any other sequences in this movie that sort of plays along the lines as much as um as much as from the fire. And I don't know what it went on. I don't know what went on in the studios when they was editing this. Perhaps they had like I don't know, a few minutes to edit the music together. But I really hope for Halloween ends, they actually watch the movie as they do in the score, like what they did with Halloween 2018, and they fix it. Because Halloween Kills, in that regard, is sometimes unwatchable. Not in terms of the sequence, as I mentioned. Everything about this is perfect. Apart from the music. It just goes to the back. Um, so yeah, that was one my one little gripe with Halloween Kills. Uh, that was really the only main issue I had with the movie. That and a few editing issues here and there. But, but it, I'm not uh, that knowledgeable in the movie industry, so... I can't say much, but yeah, let me know your thoughts. Have you guys noticed this? 
do you think that they should remaster Halloween Kills? Let me know in the comments below. Please remember to leave a like, consider subscribing, switch the notification bell on, so you'll <clears throat> see you all in my next video. Peace.